A magic wand, an alteration, and a resist ring will give you one of these, a wand with flat added damage to spells. This craft is insanely powerful for early game caster leveling, as we don't really have much flat damage. The rarity of the ring determines both what tier the flat damage is, as well as the level requirement of the wand. A normal ring will give you a tier 8 roll, and will require level 8. A magic ring will give you a tier 7 roll, and will require level 14. And finally, a rare ring will give you a tier 6 roll, and will require level 20. You can make a resist ring by selling an iron ring with the skill gem. An iron ring plus a green gem will give you a topaz ring. A red gem will give you a ruby ring. And a blue gem will give you a sapphire ring. In my runs, I always try to do at least uh, one wand craft at level 8 uh, to carry my early game, and then I try to craft both my wands at level 20 with two rare rings. While tooltip DPS isn't a perfectly accurate way to assess how impactful something is, I think it works nicely here. Without any wand crafts, I do 260 damage with my Stormblast mine. With one level 8 wand, I do 320. With two level 20 wands, my DPS goes from 320 all the way up to 516. In order to speed up your leveling, I highly recommend finding the currency to do this craft. You will often need a transmute uh, in order to make a wand with desirable colors into a magic wand, typically a blue 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 or blue blue green wand. To acquire two rare rings, you will often have to use essences. I prefer using non-resist essences over alchemies. So typically I'll end up doing this, make a topaz ring, and use like a fizz essence or something. I hope this craft helps you in, your, in leveling your spellcasters. If you have any questions on leveling, feel free to visit my stream at twitch.tv slash